they come out fast enough that, that, that there's more than you can count. I always tell people, you can tell bats where not to live, but you can't tell them where to live. Oh my God! <laughs> I, I think it's a lack of education, but there's really a lot of myths about bats. Uh, they get tangled in your hair, they suck your blood, I mean, they have rabies. The location that makes this so good is not, not only is it in the field, but it's right across the street from Lake Alice, so the bats can go and drink. We're at the University of Florida Bat Houses on the UF campus. All of our bats are insectivores, they eat insects only. They eat an estimated two and a half billion, with a B, insects a night. Bats are very important ecologically. They play an important role in the food web. Uh, they save the agriculture industry millions of dollars a year and reduce use of pesticides. The Brazilian free-tail bat is the most common bat that we have in our bat houses, and it's actually the most common mammal in the state. But we also have some southeastern myotis and also some evening bats that live in the houses. The history is that in 1987 there was a historic building on campus, Johnson Hall, that had been around since the early 1900s, and they had a kitchen fire, and that building was destroyed. And there was a very large colony of bats living in the attic of Johnson Hall. So after the fire, they flew and inhabited other places on campus. The university had uh, hired someone to come in and capture more than a thousand of the bats and put them into the bat house, and they stayed there that day. That night at dusk, they flew out and they did not come back the next morning. And that happened at least 23 times over the three and a half year period. And it wasn't until 95 that we had a continuous population. Out of more than 1,300 species of bats worldwide, there's only three species of vampire bat. We have none of those in the United States. Bats really have a low incidence of rabies, less than one half of 1% of the population. Okay, but when they do contract rabies, one of the things that happens is it, it makes them unable to fly. We always tell people if you find one lying on the ground, do not pick it up. The chance that it has rabies goes up much higher to like 30% if it's on the ground. People always want to know what time the bats are going to come out. They don't always come out at the same time. Um, it's generally 10 to 15 minutes after sunset. As long as the temperature is 65 or higher and it's not a really, really bad storm, then, then they typically will come out. The southeastern myotis, for whatever reason, tend to come out first. And then usually a few will start to come out, just small numbers of them, and then eventually they will start streaming out and they come out in the in the hundreds and, and thousands. It usually takes 10 to 15 minutes for them to all come out. You, you can't you can't miss it.